I literally have a magic marker here today. It's called Magic Ink. It writes on ice. Stay tuned. For custom sneakers, clothes, and collectibles like Supreme, check out sneakerpickers.com. All right, we got Magic Ink markers all the way from Kyoto, Japan, from a company called Kyoto Style. That's where I got the MoMA Muji pen at. If you guys saw that, the all aluminum pen. If not, go check out that video. I have an eight color set here. It comes in black, blue, violet, green, brown, red, and orange. Uh, you can see there is very minimal amount of English on here. Most of it looks like, I guess it's Japanese. It is Japanese made. I do uh, seem to like the Japanese products when it comes to art out there. The paint brushes, the paint, the markers. There's all sorts of Japanese products I've used and I've liked in the past. Today, we have the Magic Ink. Now, it's known to write on ice. I know ice sculptors, they're a big uh, fan of these Magic Ink markers. And I say ice, it's just because it's unusual. These will write on anything. It's supposed to write through grease, it's it, anything. So we're gonna go outside here in a few minutes and we're gonna check out what it, what it can do and we'll write on some different surfaces and all. And, take a closer look at it. For right now, let's check out each individual bottle. You can see, it's all in Japanese. You got a little picture there. Now I have used these. It's one thing um, about some people's reviews on YouTube. I feel like some of the reviews, like they just get the product and then they're like using it that day, making the videotape, reviewing it. What I like to do is I like to use these and then review them. We're gonna use them a little bit right here and I'll show you guys how they work. What I have to tell you is I'm completely impressed with these. I love these markers, the way they dry, everything about them. You can tell they are oil. They have that old school smell as soon as I take off the cap. It reminds me of the old aluminum body markers from when I was a kid. You'd open them up in the classroom when they'd stink everywhere. Of course, they don't use markers like that now in school, but we did when we were kids, you know. We didn't know better, I guess, or we knew better and didn't care. Who knows what it was. They're so smooth. The colors are bold and beautiful. I love them. I absolutely love them. Now, I paid $18 for these on eBay. Um, like I said, from Kyoto Style. Artprimo.com does sell these if you want to buy individual colors. You don't have to buy the whole kit. They're a few bucks a piece. They also sell the refills. So that's something to think about. If you don't want to order from Japan, no problem. Go to Artprimo.com. That's who I would recommend. Typically, I would keep these out of the boxes once I open them. I, I wouldn't store them in there. I just have them in the boxes for the video. As soon as this video is over, those boxes are gone. Oops. I'll show you. They make that noise here. I want to show you how solid it comes out. You see lines and all, and you see wet marks, but I assure you it's going to dry solid. Nice, real solid color. You may have to go back over it, but usually if you lay it on there real good the first time, it's going to write solid. If you just write real quick like this, you're going to see the overlaps a little bit. But I'm telling you, if you take your time and you just lay it down nice and heavy, it's going to bleed into the paper. That piece of paper is going to dry and it's going to look beautiful. Go like this, fill it in, make it nice and dark and wet, and that's going to dry beautiful. Or, or give it one coat and then go back over it a second coat. It'll be solid as can be. Believe me. I'm pretty impressed with these. I like them. These are going to be a stock in my studio. I'm going to make sure I have fresh markers. I'm going to go ahead and buy some refills from Art Primo. 
but these are way too cool not to have and they're way too nice not to use. I love the glass body marker. I haven't seen these since I was a kid. It's been a long time. I'm sure these have been around. I just haven't used them. I haven't had them. So it is what it is. It's not usual to go see these in the uh, arts and crafts store, which I really don't go into much anymore. It's all online, which is why I'm going to buy the products and I'm going to reveal them here on YouTube. I'm going to let you guys check them out. This way, you might be interested in it. Or, it might be something you looked at and be like, I don't like that, that's not what I'm looking for. These might not be for you. You know, for whatever reason. They just might not be. If you have any questions or you want me to test them out or do anything, just shoot. Let me know. Grab a couple ice cubes and uh, let's start writing. Cause these aren't gonna last very long in here, as warm as it is. It says it's 73 degrees inside. What do you think, guys? Is it gonna work? What? All right. For all intents and purposes, let's get this marker. Oh, barely. It stopped working. As soon as I brought it across the top. Now that's a marks all marker. What do you think? Ice doodling? I hope this doesn't melt. <laughs> it's gonna leave ink everywhere when that melts. Oh my god. Alright. Enough playing with the ice. We know it writes on ice. We can see it. We got it. Definitely works. Alright, let's run outside real quick, write on a few different things here. Some metal, my grip tape. Uh, this is the inside of a um, grill. Yeah, nice and greasy, dirty, nasty. Works fine. And uh, we have a smooth plastic trash can here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, baby. All right, so check out this picture I made here. This is done in these markers. What I used was some charcoal paper, something a little bit different than unusual. I pretty much figured it would suck up the ink, you know, boy, it did. It sucked up the ink, but when it dried, everything looked beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna actually put out a video of this, uh, uh, me actually doing it, but I'm gonna be telling us. So look forward to that. That's all I have for today. Joe Kaiser, over and out. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever it is, wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.